throw. Come on, Luke. Time to get to sleep. Oh, no, Mum. Just five more minutes. I just got to level six. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, no arguments. You know you've got school tomorrow. Oh. Luke, have you been listening to music again? No, 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 no. Yes. But what harm can it do? I've told you before about the dangers of listening to rock music. It can give you ideas. What kind of ideas? I don't need to explain myself to my own son. Just ideas. Now go to sleep. Don't let the bed bugs bite you. Mum? What is it now? Didn't you used to go to concerts and stuff? That was a long time ago, Luke. What was it like, you know, going to an actual concert where people could actually sing along and sit next to each other without masks? It was amazing. Everyone wanted to be a rock star back then. Not all people appreciated the struggle it was to get there. Right, right, settle down, you nine. Bobby, can you not retrieve last lessons chewing gum from under the desk or the lesson pools? Sorry, miss. If you remember rightly, last lesson I set you a task to prepare a speech on what you want to be when you're older. Ooh, can I go first, miss? I'm going to be a lawyer. A liar, more like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be the first one I'll be sending to jail. As if. Ooh. What are you going to do when and if you ever grow up? <laughs> Settle down, you two. Now then, the first person to be selected for their speech is Dan Diego. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come up here and do your speech? Yours is, if I remember rightly, being an entertainer. Please welcome to the stage the one, the only... Thank goodness! Dan <laughs> Diego! When I grow up, I'm going to do the most important job of them all. The job of making people happy. The job of making people feel good. You're failing that already. He's bored me in the first ten seconds. <laughs> it's the last time! Can we let him finish? I'm going to be a rock star. <laughs> what are you going to try and do? Win the X Factor. <laughs> Make a YouTube channel. <laughs> you don't need any of that to get to the top.
I'll bet ACDC didn't work hard in school. Of course they did. You have to work hard in school to get anywhere. Well, maybe they played music and worked hard in school. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. They must have practiced, I suppose. If you get me a guitar, I'll practice every day. Every day? Well, you won't have time if you're doing schoolwork. I'll make time. Hmm. And I'll earn lots of money, enough to put you in a good nursing home when you're older. Ha ha, very thoughtful of you. But right now, I'm still young enough to boss you around, and you're just old enough to do as you're told. It's bedtime. Now, we've chatted enough. Oh, I wonder if I could get a band together. Hmm. Well, I'm glad this week's over with. Me too. Are you up to much this weekend? I was wondering if you wanted to... The usual. Ballet at seven tonight and again tomorrow afternoon. My tap lesson at five. And Sunday, choreography class. Oh, sounds fun. What about you? Uh, well, you know, a bit of this, a bit of that. Hey, Toads! Lyra! Hey, Lyra. Dance tonight? Of course. I haven't seen you in a while. You coming tonight? She will be coming again. How come? I can't come as I have practice. What? You've joined a new dance class? Not a dance class! A band! You guys are in a band? Like, a marching band? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. A rock band! A rock band? A rock band. Only the greatest there's ever been. Well, not quite yet. But we will be. One day, number one! Top of the charts. And conquer the whole world! So when did concerts really start then, Mum? Who were the first rock stars? Now don't try and distract me again, Luke. I've told you before it's time for bed. Go to sleep. But I want to hear more. Who started singing with guitars and why did it become popular? Well, there was this one outstanding guitarist called Chuck Berry. But I'm not telling you about that now. Go to sleep. I'll tell you in the morning. But that's a weird name. Where did Chuck Berry come from? He was an American man. He developed the style of rock and roll. He must have been awesome. Oh, yes, he was. He started a new trend. 
Then everybody started copying him, his style. More and more people wrote similar songs until everyone was singing rock and roll. I wish I could sing rock and roll. Can I have a guitar for my birthday, Mum? Please? I've told you before, Luke. Playing guitars won't get you anywhere in life. You need a proper job. Even if you get a guitar for your birthday, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can write songs and make a living. Okay, everyone, here it comes. Everyone, quiet down. Turn the lights off quickly. Surprise! Happy birthday, Johnny. Wow, you've gone through a lot of effort. It's worth it. Open your present. You really didn't have to buy me anything. Open it. Something special just for you. It's kind of heavy and big. You're going to love it. As long as I get a turn. With this present, you're going to change the world. A guitar! Try and play something. I don't know how. I can show you. You may not be able to now, but one day you'll be good. sang it. Right, that's enough. Time for bed. Was it though? Didn't didn't you used to sing a bit? 
Well, I did a bit. But you still shouldn't get any ideas. The stories you should hear about those rock stars. What stories? Well, about them using their songs to meet boys and things. So there were girl rock stars in the olden days? Oh, yes. And a bit less of the olden days, thank you very much. But there was one really fierce lady called Joan Jett. She was the lead singer of a band called the Black Hearts. Sounds very rock and roll. Oh, she was. But it was a lot more difficult to get well known back then. Why? Because there was no internet and no YouTube. No. Really? Haven't we always had the internet? No. So how did people meet? That is most definitely a story for when you're older. Mum, Mum, the Wi-Fi has gone off again! Oh, well, use your 4G. I've used all my data this month. Well, that's your fault then, posting too many videos of yourself on TikTok. Well, at least I have followers. So do I. About 10. Well, you've only got followers because you have anyone you can. You're supposed to be private. I am! No, you're not. Girls, girls, what are you arguing over this time? She's being mean. No, I'm not. You two are always arguing. I would just say that the Wi-Fi had gone off again. Do you really need a... Yes! I'll have your dad to have a look at it now. All okay? The usual life or death matter. The Wi-Fi's going off. She's used up all her data again. On TikTok. See what I mean? Why don't the two of you put those phones down and go and actually do something? There by the rocking machine I knew he must have been about 17 He was going strong Play my favourite song Like a tell it won't be long He was with me Yeah, me Like a tell it won't be long He was with me Yeah, me Singing I love rock and roll But another time in the jukebox Word of mouth in the radio. What? Words in mouth? No. Someone when in school would hear the song on the radio, then buy the 45. The 45 was always one song from the LP. Excuse me, Mum. Can you speak in English, please? Oh, come on. Don't tell me that you've never Googled what an LP is. I'm not allowed my phone at bedtime. You tell me it's good parenting. Oh, for goodness sake. A 45 was a record with one song and a B-side. Mum, you shouldn't swear. Luke, 
The B side of a record was the song not quite as good as the, the A side. I think my head is about to explode. Kids, ask someone to explain it to you. I haven't got all night and it's past his bedtime. So B sides were bad? <laughs> not necessarily. The Beatles' Hey Jude album was all B sides. So you're telling me insects can sing, but I'm not even allowed a guitar? Ugh, kids today. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. this straight. There was no internet? No. No YouTube? No. Insects could sing? No. Well, the Beatles. They were a band, a very famous band. Well, they can't be that famous, because I haven't heard of them. Well, maybe you haven't heard of the band, but you've bound to have heard of one of their songs. Oh, I can't remember. Well, fine. What film did we watch last week? James Bond. Film themes used to be another way that songs got well known. One very famous Beatle um, wrote this theme song for a James Bond film. Which one? Spectre? Skyfall? Quantum of Solace? Live and let die. Never heard of it. <sighs> when you were young and your heart was an open book You used to say, live and let live If this ever-changing world in which we're living makes you give in and cry Say live and let die Live and let die Live and let die Live and let die
you got a job to do, you gotta do it well. You got to give the other fellow hell. You used to say, live and let live But if this ever-changing world in which you were living Makes you give in and cry Say, live and let die Live and let die Live and let die Live and let die So, you've never heard of certain Bond films? That just proves that you've still got a lot to learn. And where's the best place to learn things? School. And in order to go to school you need to? Sleep. Sleep. Go to school. Work hard. Do well. Learn stuff about music so I can have a good time in a rock band. What's up with you lot? I can't believe I only got 38% in my science exam. Well, what were you expecting? 39%? Ha ha, very funny. I actually revised for that test. Well, not hard enough. I didn't do much better. Come on, everyone. Do we have to talk about school? It's boring. Not if you want to do well. Who needs school anyway? It's only Wednesdays, and I've had enough of it. I think you've done enough of it the day we started. I didn't even realise you had started. I'm fed up of being told what to do all the time. And being told what to wear. Well, I'm glad I don't have to pick an outfit every day. We need excitement in our lives. We know what your excitement means, and it usually gets us into trouble. So what? If music's taught me one thing, it's that we don't have to conform. Elvis Presley didn't pick up his first guitar just to let future generations of school kids sit around all day talking about their science exams. Who's Elvis Presley? You're kidding, right? He's the singer. Even I know that. We need some rock and roll in our lives. We need to do something exciting. Let's have a party. On a Wednesday? Oh, I've got my clarinet lesson. Exciting stuff. So what do you have in mind? Tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time I feel like And the world is turning inside out, yeah Floating around in ecstasy, so don't stop
So you found out about songs from the radio and word of mouth, and that's all? Mainly. So how did teenagers talk to each other without the internet and phones? Oh, we had phones. Really? But you could only talk on them after six o'clock, and when you dialed a number it took so long that you kept forgetting which bit of the number you were on, and you had to start all over again. Whoa, how awful. And we did have top 40 and top of the pops. Television? Yes, Luke, we had television. Every Thursday evening, teenagers would gather around the te television and watch for their favourite song and what would be number one on the charts. It was really exciting. Yeah, it must have been riveting. The next morning at school, we would talk about what had been number one the night before. It was so much fun. Really? As much fun as a viral TikTok? A viral what? Oh, come on, Mum. Get with the times. I remember waiting patiently and hoping and hoping that Michael Jackson would be number one for another week. Michael who?
Good night, Luke. Sleep tight. But, Mum, you haven't told me about the concerts you used to go to. Concerts? I remember concerts. What were they like? Amazing music. Singing, guitar playing. Tell me more about the guitar playing. One of the best has got to be Bon Jovi. I could play the guitar like that. C please, can I have a guitar for my... I've told you before, Luke. School work comes first. Yes, I know. But I said I could do both, couldn't I? Please, I'll learn to play it really well. Like, like Brian Adams. You've heard of Brian Adams? Of course I have. I was listening to him before you came in. I thought you were playing with your Switch. Who told you about Brian Adams? Nobody told me. Someone made a TikTok and it went viral. And I know all about Summer of 69. Well, at least you've learnt something worthwhile from the internet. Whoa, this song is sick, man. You should have heard the bass drop. You call that music? You're telling me you don't like drill? I think I'd rather listen to a drill. It's what everyone's listening to. I think if I had to listen to that, I'd drill myself through the ear holes. What music do you like, then? Grandpa music. <laughs> <laughs> something from the 1920s. Something with some beat and song. Some rock and roll. This music has soul. Yeah, and an awesome beat. Music in my days was real. I remember the summer of love. Was that when you met Grandma? Tell us about it.
I got my first real six string So let's recap. You heard about songs from word of mouth? Yes. The radio on top of pops? Yes. You had phones, but had to get permission to use them? Yes. My dad used to come out and tell me off if I was on the phone for too long. My friend's dad put a padlock on his. Literally, a padlock. Incoming calls only. Unbelievable. And you learned about Brian Adams from the internet? Yes, and you tell me people used to meet each other without texting first? Yes, they did. How could that work? Well, people used to talk to each other face to face. Face to face? Yes. No phones? No. Sounds weird. Inspiration. Struggling from some writer's block? Uh, letting, letting the dogs out. Uh, let yellow aquatic vehicles. Uh, trains heading south. You can pretty much write about anything or anyone, and I have nothing to, nothing to write about. What about a love song? A love song? Me? Come on, haven't you ever been in love? There is no way I'm going to tell you that. About the girl? You just admitted to it. Well, is she at least pretty? Well, there is this one girl. Is she pretty? You should see her eyes, like the bluest skies. But, is she a good person? You should see, try, you, you should see her smile. She sounds sweet. Oh, 
If only she were mine. So why were guitars so important to music? Well, they could play amazing riffs. Riffs? A musical pattern that's repeated. You know a lot about this, Mum. You must have been a brilliant guitarist. Well, stop trying to get around me and the fact that it's your bedtime and you're still not asleep. Oh, please, Mum, tell me more about the guitars. <sighs> I don't know that much, really, but I do know about some songs which have amazing guitar parts, ones that are famous just on their own.
So are you really interested in playing the guitar? Oh yes, I really, really want to learn to play. Piano lessons not good enough for you? Well, they are useful. I'm learning about music, but I really want to write and perform stuff like Brian Adams and, and Ed Sheeran. OK, Luke, I'll have to be honest with you. I used to do a bit of singing guitar playing myself. Really? Let me show you something. This? is my guitar. Oh, wow! I can't really afford to buy you a new one, but if you really, really want to learn the guitar, we'll see if we can swap your piano lessons for guitar lessons. Yes! Thanks, Mum. I won't let you down. And I'll earn enough money to put you in a really good home. Ha ha, very funny. Now switch off the light and go to sleep and... I know. Watch the bed bugs don't bite. I realise that tomorrow is the last day of school before the holidays, but you still need to get some sleep. I'll try and phone the guitar teacher in the morning. Maybe you can have some lessons over the summer. Night, Mum. Night, Luke. Night, night, guitar. School's out tomorrow and I'm going to play you every day.